thoughts coming to you? I'm just in space. Mm -hmm. Like in the sky. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what can you see happening in space? Um, it's just dark with lots of stars. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Let's see what's what's unfolding. So just allow yourself to immerse into that scene. And just like you to keep just keep verbalizing what, what it is that you're seeing as you let the scene unfold and something happens. Or what thoughts are coming to you as you're just drifting through space? How you feel about where you are? It's nice, it's just I'm not really seeing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can see stars in space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do they make you feel when you look at them? Good. Mm -hmm. What thoughts pop into your mind? Just allow the thoughts to come to you. Whatever pops into your mind, and connect, connect your thoughts to your mind now. And just verbalize whatever it is. I can see like a yellow creature, but I don't know if it's me or if it's someone else. What is it? Just like a yellow creature. Okay, good. All right, so tell me about it. Um, it kind of looks like a like a dinosaur. Mhm. Mm That's good. Um, like a water dinosaur though. Mhm. Mm so it has fins um, and a tail. What else? Just, so just see if you can describe it as best as you can as you focus on it now. Um, it has like an orange face mm -hmm. um, and round ears. What else? It's just floating around and like spinning, like it lives here. Mm -hmm. Is it on its own or is there others around? Um, yeah, just the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it big or small? It's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where are you? Um, just a short distance away, mm -hmm. maybe like 20 meters. Okay. And you, are you just observing it? Yeah. Okay. And so what's it doing? It's, it's in the water, is it? Um, no, it's it's also in space, but it looks like it can swim. Okay. So it's in space with you. Yep. And so what, what colours do you see in space? Um, it's mostly just black with white stars everywhere. Okay. And there's this, this, this creature before you? Yes. Okay. It's got an orange face. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And round hands? Uh, round ears. Oh, round ears. Okay. They're big ears or small ears? Um, like a medium. Mm-hmm. All right. And what does its skin look like? How would you describe it? Um, well, it's just yellow. Um, it's not furry. Mm-hmm. Does the skin look soft or hard? Um, uh, probably pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like a reptile. Okay, good. And so, what, what is it doing? It's just like spinning around. It's spinning around? Yep. Mm -hmm. is, it just, is it just flying around in the air or yeah, in the space? Yeah, I think it's just like playing. It's playing, okay. So it looks like... Does it look like it's enjoying itself? Yeah. Mm hmm Does it look healthy? Yes. Okay. It's good. All right. So just, just let the scene continue to unfold. And as it unfolds, just tell me everything that's happening. As if you were telling a story and reporting on it. Um, I'm just in space. Mm -hmm. And there's this yellow thing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's zooming out now. Mm -hmm. But I still mostly just see stars, but there are planets around in the distance. Okay. So do any thoughts pop in your mind as you're, you're observing all this? I don't know. The creature seems like it lives here. Mm -hmm. I don't think I live here. Okay. You don't think you live here? No. Where do you think you live? I'm not probably Earth, but I'm not sure. Okay. And you said you, see, you can see some planets? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you describe them to me? Um, yeah, they're just like little dots of colors. Like, there's a red one and a purple one, mm -hmm. but they're pretty far away. They're what? They're pretty far they're pretty away. They're pretty far away, okay. And do you feel drawn to one of them? Mm, not particularly. Mm -hmm. Would you like to explore one of them? Um, that, that makes me nervous. That makes you nervous? Mm -hmm. Why does it make you nervous? Because space is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? You can only breathe on certain planets, and I might not be able to breathe on the one I go to. Oh, okay. Do you have a, have something that would help you breathe? Um, I don't know how I can breathe in space right now, but I'm just, yeah, I don't have anything with me. Okay. So do you, as you look down at yourself now, just focus in on yourself. Do you have a do you have a body or do you have a form? I'm like pretty human. You're a pretty human? Like I'm like pretty like mostly human. Okay, good. So just, just describe yourself to me. Um, uh, I feel like the top half is definitely human. Mm -hmm. The bottom half is a little more wispy. Wispy, mm -hmm. okay. So in what way is it wispy? Um, like the legs are weird. Okay, so what... Are they, what, what color are the legs, would you say? Um, I'm in like a white, I'm wearing white clothing. So white all over or just in the bottom half? Oh uh, yeah, all over. All over. Okay, so you, you, you've got white skin, is that right? Do you yeah. have like physical skin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how would you describe your legs? What do they look like? They're just like... They're just like waving around like they don't have um, like substance. Mm hmm Okay. So do they have a definitive shape? Um, they're like sticks like legs are, but they're like, like noodles. They're just like flopping around. Okay. Good. Do you, do you have feet? Uh, no. No nope. feet. Okay. So just uh, stick-like legs that are white? Yes. Okay. Excellent. And and as you look further up your body, what else do you see? Um, so there's like a belt on my thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like the bottom half of me is just like floppy, but then the top half is like a normal, like a human top half. But I'm wearing this white thing. Okay. So would you say that from the belt down is the wispy stick yeah. legs and yeah. then the top half is more human-like? Yeah. Okay, good. So what just describe the belt to me. Um, it's just like a silver it might be like the top half of like a spacesuit. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Probably. So yeah, it's just like a silver that's very rigid. Mm-hmm. Does it have any markings on it? Um, no, it's just plain silver around it. Okay. And is it is it quite thick or thin? Um, it's a bit thick. Mm -hmm. It's not like super thin. Okay. And how does it feel being around you? Um, I don't really notice it. Okay, so it doesn't doesn't bother you or mm -hmm. affect you. Yeah. Okay. Good. And what about your top half? How would you describe yourself? Um, like a like a human. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like the head is kind of a weird shape. It's like a it's like long and skinnier than normal. Um, yeah, and I have like a white hood as well as part of the... A white hood? Yeah. Okay. 
So you're wearing, is it is it like a one one piece clothing that you're wearing on your top half? Yeah. To the hood? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and is there anything over your face? No. No? Okay. So how do you how do you breathe in space? Is there some something that protects you or is it is it open or it's open. Okay. Yeah. So you can exist there as you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And do you identify with a gender? Do you feel male mm, or female at all? No. No? Okay. You can just feel your body. Yeah. And see what it is. Okay. Do you feel healthy or, or sick? Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm healthy. healthy. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel young or old? Um, I feel like age is different for this, okay. whatever I am. Okay, in what way? Like, I don't think I'm... I feel like I would be 50, but that would be, like, considered young mm-hmm. for the species. Okay. So does does your species live to a lot older? Yes. Do you know what sort of age they'd live to? Probably, like, at least, like, around 300. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. Good. And what, what's, what does your species call themselves? Huh. I'm not really sure. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm supposed to be with a bunch of them, but I'm just by myself right now. Okay. So did you come out here on your own? Was there a reason that you came out here? Um, I'm not sure how we got here. I feel like I was maybe separated, like very young. Okay. So I don't know where the rest of them are. Have you been out there for a while? Yeah, I think I've just been wandering space for a long time. Okay, just on your own? Yeah. And how do you feel about that, just being on your own? Um, it's all that I know, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I don't know if there's more of me out there or not. And is that something you'd like to find out? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. So if I find them, then it'll just be very strange mm. to find a bunch of things. Like yeah. me when I've been the only one for so long. Yeah. So how do you survive out there on your own? Yeah, I'm not sure if I need to eat or anything. Mm-hmm. I feel like I just kind of exist. Okay. Well, how do you spend your time? What would you normally do? I think I just float around. Mm-hmm. I think this yellow thing, I, I don't think I really see them very often. So okay. it's weird. So was it unexpected to see it? Yes. Okay. And when you did encounter it, what did you do? Um, I just stopped moving and just watched it. Mm-hmm. And then I was like spinning around and it's kind of like a seal. Like mm-hmm. it's very playful. Okay. But yeah, then it just floated away. And what, what kind of impression did you get as you, you observed it? Um, kind of like it was magical. It was magical. Okay. In what way was it magical? Like maybe they're very rare or maybe it's like a mythical creature. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that is that what you do? Do you, do you search for mythical creatures or...? Um, I think I am mostly just floating around. Okay. Just being. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think I may have seen this before, but not very often. Okay. So, is this something you enjoy, just, just moving through space and, and observing whatever you find? Yeah, I don't really know what else to What's do. That? I don't really know what else to do in space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And so tell me, tell me more about the, the, the other people like you. Um, where did they exist? Um, I think we were on a planet. Okay. And then somehow I ended up in space, away from the planet, and maybe I couldn't get back onto it. Okay. Did something happen that caused that, caused you not to be able to go back? Um, I think that something happened with the community, like a trauma, mm-hmm. and I somehow got sent into space okay. like by accident. So what what's your your earliest memory of that of around that time? 
Um, I don't remember being with people, but I can kind of see them on, like, the red planet. Okay, so you were on a red planet. Mm -hmm. And that's when you were younger? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then did you have a, a family that you lived with? Probably. I don't remember being with anyone. I can just see, like, more people, more things like me. Okay. On the planet. Yeah. But it seems like... Like everyone's rushing around. Like everyone's I think rushing around. The bad thing is happening. Okay. But I don't know what it is. So, so something bad happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and why do you think they might have been rushing around? Um, trying to like, escape maybe. Mm hmm. I don't know if like an asteroid hit the planet or something happened that. Yeah, the people were separated. Okay. And so. Do you, do you have any idea of how you might have got into space on your own? Um, I don't know. I think that maybe something like hit the planet and then that just caused creatures to like fly off of it. Okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So how did you move around on the planet? Is it like you do now in space or was it different? Um, I think our legs were more solid mm -hmm. on the planet. Yeah. So, like, you kind of walked, like, similar to humans. Okay. But, yeah, now that I'm in space, my legs, I, don't, I guess I don't need them. So I just float around so they're not as strong as they used to be. Okay. So so something something changed your body when the incident happened? Um, I think just being in space for so long mm -hmm. made them like this. Okay. Yeah. And so, going back to the planet, is it, or finding that planet, are you able to find it? Do you know where it is? Or? Well, I saw a red planet earlier, but okay. I don't know. Like, it didn't feel like home when mm -hmm. I saw it. Okay. I don't know if I know that that's where I'm from. Yeah. So, have you ever been back to your home or any, had any idea of where it is after you, you got taken into space or moved into space? Um, no, I don't. I don't really have any memories because I was so young when I got thrown into space. Okay. So you don't really remember too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is, is going back to your home planet, is that something you'd like to do? Um, I don't know. I don't, like I never, I don't know if that planet is the one that I'm from. Mm -hmm. I just never really thought about it. So I've just been existing in space. Mm-hmm. Do you find it? Do you find you get lonely at all being on your own? Um, no, I don't think so. No, it's okay. just yeah, different. So, is there any? How would you see your life if you look at it in terms of being fulfilling? You know, do you find doing what you're doing now fulfilling, or is there something more that you would like out of your life? Um, I think that the idea has never been introduced because mm -hmm. I've just been like alone mm -hmm. since I was very small so I just float around and I don't really know what to do okay but you are you would you say that you're happy or content doing what you're doing it's still very neutral still very neutral okay so you don't feel overly either way <laughs> mm -hmm. okay all right so just um Tell me what, what's happening in the scene now. What, what do you see as you just let it continue to unfold? Just describe to me what's happening. Um, well, the yellow thing's gone. Mm -hmm. And just like alone in space again. Okay. It's not really anything happening. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're, you're moving in, in any particular direction towards anything? No, just... There's like more rocks in the space now. Okay. But, so I'm like avoiding them, but it's, I'm not really going anywhere. Mm hmm. Okay. So is there anything else in this scene that you'd like to explore? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So I'd just like you to close that scene now, and we're going to leave that scene and move forward to another important day, a day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We've now gone forward to an important day.
Can you tell me what, what's happening? What do you see? Um, there's like mountains. There's what? There's mountains everywhere. Mountains, yep. yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm at like a ski resort. Mm hmm. But I do not like skiing, so. You don't like skiing? No, I think I'm just here for the scenery. Okay. So tell me, tell me about yourself now. Um, I think I'm just me now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just, I think it's in Canada. Mm-hmm. Um. So this is your current life? Maybe, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In, like, the Rocky Mountains back home. Okay. Okay, and do you feel younger or older? Um, I'm not really sure what age I am, mm -hmm. but I'm not like very old. Okay. All right. So just just describe to me what what is what it is that you see in the scene there. What's happening? Um. So it's definitely winter. So there's snow everywhere. Um. Yeah, like I can see the, like the, the place, the chalet, I guess, where people go after they're done skiing, but I'm not at it. Where are you? Um, I'm j I think I'm on like a trail, like a walking trail. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yeah, just walking in the snow. Is that something you do regularly? Well, I don't like snow very much, but I guess once in a while I enjoy going for a walk. Because mm -hmm. uh, the mountains are really pretty. Yeah. How does it feel being there? I'm good. I have really good winter clothes on, mm -hmm. so I'm warm. Yeah. Which is good. So you're just walking along a trail, and are you on your own or with with others? Um, I'm on my own, but mm -hmm. there's like lots of people around. Okay, so you can see others around. Yeah, it's like a busy time of year. Okay, but you're just walking on your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, do you know where you're walking to? Um, I think I'm just like on a trail to look around. Like, okay. Yeah, just like a walking trail. All right. So do you have any particular objective going through this walk? Um, I just want to see the mountains and mm -hmm. hopefully I'll see some animals. Okay. Is that something you, you normally do? Um, kind of, yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm only here like for a trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to see the mountains and the animals. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel when you... See these mountains and these animals. I get really excited. You get excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what excites you about it? Um, well, I don't get to see mountains usually, so it's, they're just really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then I just love seeing animals all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, but these are like different animals. Yeah. What kind of animals do you get where you are near? Um, there's like rabbits and squirrels here. Mm hmm. Um, and hopefully I'll see some deer. Um, yes, I don't want to see a bear because they're really dangerous here. Yeah. <laughs> they are around. What would you do if you saw one? Um, uh, hopefully the ski house would have told me what to do. Depends on the species. Yeah. I think there's grizzly bears here. I think... Mm -hmm. You have to play dead with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Hopefully they told me at the house, so I yeah. will remember. Yeah, okay. So you get excited about seeing new things, seeing the mountains, seeing the animals, mm -hmm. just exploring. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when you're not exploring, what do you what do you normally do? Um, <laughs> I really like... Having hot chocolate mm -hmm. and just like sitting inside um, 
There's like a common area, so you can sit with all the other people who are there. Okay. Yeah, so I hang out with like the other travelers a bit. Yeah. Do you do that often? Um, yeah, not like all the time, because mm -hmm. I like coming and being by myself as well. Okay. But, yeah, like once a day for a little bit, mm -hmm. hang out with everyone. And what do you, what do you like to talk about when you're with these other people? Um, we talk about where everyone's from and things like that and what they're going to, what everyone's plans are for the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the conversations that you have with these people? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how, how would you say your life is generally? Like, are you happy with it? You're not happy? Yeah. I think it's good. Mm-hmm. Well, it's extra good because I'm on this trip in the yeah. mountains. I think it's usually fine as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. So let's just let the scene continue to unfold as you're, you're walking along the trail there and just tell me what, what happens next. Um, I'm like seeing people interacting with each other. Mm -hmm. um, like there's kids having a snowball fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can hear birds in the trees, mm -hmm. which are nice. Um, yeah, Just, it's really sunny out. And the sun's coming through the trees. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, it's not snowing right now, but there's lots of snow everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And you're still feeling excited about walking along the trail? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you get planning on meeting with anyone? Um, not at this point. I'm just going to go do this trail and then see what happens later. Okay. All right. Do you feel drawn to explore anything further? At the moment? Um, no, I think I'll be on this trail for a while, so. Okay, all right. Well, just, just enjoy enjoy letting that scene continue to unfold. Just uh, immerse yourself to that, that walk along the trail. And just, just keep um, verbalizing to me how it is you, you, you're feeling about it and what happens and what thoughts come to you as they come into your mind. Um, I'm kind of close to the ski hills, like I can see people skiing in the, over there. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to ski. <laughs> you don't want to ski? No. Have you ever gone skiing? Um, no. Well, maybe once when I was younger. Mm -hmm. It was very stressful. <laughs> it was stressful? Why was it stressful? Um, I kept falling over. Oh, okay. And I didn't like that, so. You didn't like it? No. Okay. So, will you someone teach you how to ski, or? Um, it was like a school trip, mm -hmm. so kind of not very well. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't like falling, so I didn't want to do it again. Oh, okay. But is skiing something you would you think you might like? Mm, I don't think so. No. <laughs> a little too risky for me. Okay. Even what if somebody trained you how to do it properly? I think that I would want to get better at it. No? It's just not something that interests me. Okay, so it's not, it doesn't excite you, it doesn't no. appeal to you in that way. <laughs> okay, well, we will like different things, don't we? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, and, and what else is happening there? Um, yeah, I'm just looking up at all the birds in the trees. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, there's lots of birds flying and chirping and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just really nice. And um, I'm coming up to like a lookout. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, it's looking down onto like a valley and, and mountains, which is awesome. That's why I came here, and it's really nice. It's what? It's really nice. Yeah. It's really pretty. Mm. I think there's like a small river at the bottom as well mm -hmm. that hasn't frozen yet. It's not frozen? <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that where you're heading? 
Um, no, not this time. I'm just here to go to the lookout. Mm -hmm. And what will you do when you get to the lookout? Um, not take all the pictures. Okay. And just enjoy it for a mm -hmm. while. Mm-hmm. All right, so you can you can do that now if you'd like. Just head to the lookout and just go and enjoy being there. And just just keep talking to me as you as you get along your way there. Mm. Yeah, I'm just walking. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Just just continue to verbalize any thoughts that pop in your mind or any inspirations or ideas as you're walking. Whatever whatever's comes to you. Well the air is really fresh. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. It's pretty cold, but they're bundled up so it's good. Yeah, and I can see the lookout. There's like an information board. Mm -hmm. It's like the names of the mountains and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I can see the mountain range now, and there's snow on the top, and trees all over them. And yeah, there's the valley if you look down. But there's lots of snow, so you can't really see. There's like eagles flying in the valley too. That's really cool. So you're at the lookout yet? Yes. Okay. And so what are you doing now? Um, I'm just looking at the mountain. Mm hmm Yeah, just soaking it in. Yeah. So how do you feel there? Well, I'm not really cool. Yeah. <laughs> do you go there often? Um, this is my first time to the circuit. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been um here very long, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so what what do you plan on doing after you finished at the lookout? Um, I'll probably be here a little while, mm -hmm. and then I'll keep going on the trail. It's like a big loop, mm -hmm. so I'll just loop back to the place, and then see if people are in the common area, probably. Okay, so just just le leave you for a moment there, just to enjoy yourself soaking up where you are, and then when you're ready, just just um, just let me know, and we can move on and see what happens next. Okay. 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 Alright. So just, just let the scene continue unfold and we can condense time a little bit now if you like. Mm -hmm. Speed it up and, and tell me what, what's happening next. Um well other people get to the lookout. Mm hmm Um and then I spend a bit more time there, but then I keep going. So I'll let them enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, yes, and I'm just back on the trail, looping back around home. Okay. So what, what happens next? Um, yeah, I'm just walking back now, and there's, um, again, there's just, like, lots of birds and stuff, and mm -hmm. squirrels running around, but no one is on this part of the trail. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. It's nice being out in nature, and there's no one around. Mm. It's a cool feeling. Yeah. Is it doing that something you'd like to do more often? 
you think you could do that more often, getting out on the nature trails? Yeah. I need to find them first and <laughs> go that more. Yeah. It sounds very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is there anything else in this scene that you'd like to explore now? Um, no, I'm just going to head back probably soon and then warm up a bit. <laughs> and then what? And warm up a bit. Warm up a bit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let, let's speed up time now and let, let's uh, move along the trail and go back to wherever you're going to warm up and then tell me what, what it is that's happening. Uh, so I'm back at the at the building. Mm -hmm. And so the bottom is like where all the people rent their ski gear and stuff. Yeah. And then so then I go upstairs to like where all the I think it's kind of like a hostel. There's like rooms there. Yeah. So I go upstairs to the the big common room and there's the fireplace mm -hmm. and like lots of couches. Um, there's only a couple of people there right now, and they're like reading and like doing stuff on yeah. their own, so I don't want to go there. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm just going to let go, um, probably back to my room just to like get all my winter gear off mm -hmm. and, um, just like probably grab a book and like get a hot chocolate, mm -hmm. and then maybe I'll go sit with the other people by the fire and read for a bit and see if other people show up later. So do you have any, any friends or family with you there? Um, <laughs> it might be with my partner because mm -hmm. he would want to go skiing. So maybe he'll come and meet me after. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so just just um, let the scene continue to unfold and, and keep talking to me as it's unfolding. And tell me what's happening. Um, it's still pretty early in the day, so yeah, I'm just it's like two o'clock, I think. Mhm. Mm so I'm just gonna sit by the fire for a while. Um. Yeah. How does it feel being by the fire there? It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Would you do anything differently? Would it be anywhere else other than where you are right now? No, not right now. Mm -hmm. So what else are you doing during the day? Do you do, do you work or what would you do? Um, we're on holiday right now. Okay. Yeah. So just hanging out, <laughs> going mm -hmm. on trail walks and stuff. Yeah. It's like a gondola that you can go up mm -hmm. to like look at the mountains in. Yeah. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think there's like a hot springs too, so we'll have to do that while we're here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so what, what happens next? Mm. I think I sit there for a while reading. Mm -hmm. Yes, eventually the partner would come back, but not for a while. Okay, so did you enjoy your day? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really good so far. Yeah. Very good. All right, so is there anything else in this scene you'd like to explore now? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. No? Okay. All right, so now let's, let's close that scene. Close it off, and I'd like you to move forward to an important day, a day that you consider to be important, and something is happening. And we've now gone forward to an important day. And Tim, as you come into the scene, just tell me what's happening. What do you see? I'm in a city. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's in the States. Um, I'm on another trip with my partner. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, we're doing like a walking tour. Okay. Of the city? Yeah. Okay. So we're in like a group of people, like 20 people. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's just a guide leading us and showing us um, different landmarks and stuff. So do you have a, anything particular that you want to see on the walking tour or is it just you're just going along for the ride? Yeah, I don't really know too much about the city, so I thought okay. this would be a good way to learn about it. Do you know what city it is? I think it's around Boston. Boston? Okay. I don't know why. I guess my partner wanted to go because I don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to go there, why not? Well, it's not that I don't want to go there, I just don't, it's not on my list. Okay. But he wanted to go, so <laughs> I agreed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't really know what's there, but it'll still be good to go somewhere new. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how old do you feel now? Um, uh, like late 20s, probably. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are, are you male or female? Um, I'm a female. A female? Yeah. Okay. And just, just describe yourself to me. Um, I, I'm still me. It's okay. just me. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so, yeah, there's just lots of buildings around because it's a city. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's like a waterfront, which is part of the tour. Mm-hmm. Which I'm excited about because I love water. You love water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty cold still, but it's not winter. Yeah. It's probably like autumn. Um, yeah, the sky is pretty gray. And what kind of vibe do you get from being there with and with the group? Um, with the group, it's really fun. Like. Everyone's pretty excited to be on the tour. Yeah. Okay. All right. And how do you feel? You feel okay about it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly above neutral. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's good though. Yeah. All right. So just just allow the scene to unfold there now and tell me what what's going on. What's happening? Um, yeah, so we're all just walking down the street, and the tour guide's, like, talking about the history of the buildings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I'm looking at all the little stores that I'd want to go to later. Which one tickles your fancy? Um, there's, like, a cafe with a bookstore in it, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, yeah, that one for sure. Do you think you'll go in there? Um, probably not right now, but I think we're almost at the end of the tour, so we can come back after. Okay. So why does the, um, why does that place stand out to you? Well, I really like coffee, mm -hmm. and <laughs> it just looks really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a good vibe. It's got a good vibe? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just wrote the name down on my phone to remember. What's that? Uh, like I wrote down the cafe so mm -hmm. I could find it later. Do you, do you know what it is? Um, no. Can you see it clearly? No. No. But I wrote it down. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you, can you describe what the shop looks like, the cafe? Um, it kind of looks like it's from Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> like it looks really old. Yeah. With like lots of cushion, like couches and stuff inside. Like there's like a like a nook inside the front window. Okay, yeah. For that. Um, what what colours the front of the store? Um, it's red brick. Red brick. Yeah, but yeah. there's like a really big window in the front too. Okay. Um, and then yeah, it's like a maroon, like purpley, um, color scheme inside. Mhm. Mm um, and like the barista counters on the left. And then all there's like lots of bookshelves on the right. Yeah. It's pretty narrow, but it goes back really far. Um. 
So yeah, there's like more books in the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like a used bookstore, so it has like a like that kind of feel to it. Yeah. <laughs> So they, they do um, drinks in there as well? Yeah. Yeah? They do food? Yeah. There's like one of those display cases with stuff in it. Okay. And so the, has the vibe in there inside of the store? Um, It's good. Everyone, <laughs> it's really hipster. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah. Um. Yeah, everyone's just like very calm and relaxed and just enjoying it. A book with their coffee kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're definitely going to go to this place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you said you, you were nearly at the end of the tour? Uh, yeah, pretty close. Okay. All right. So did they start and they start and finish at different places or? Uh, yes, and somewhere else. Okay. All right. And so... What, what happens next? Um, yeah, so we're still just walking. Um, and then every once in a while, the group stops to talk about something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not very interested in the history of Boston, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know we're going to go to like the, there's like a wharf, kind of. With, yeah. Like, lots of boats and... And I think there's like a little market as well, because it's a Sunday morning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we found the tour through at the front desk of the hotel we're at. Mm-hmm. They suggested it. Yeah. And it was really good. And it was really... It was really good. So really we'll good. So recommend it. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so now we're just at the at the wharf, um, and it's just the tour guide's just wrapping it up. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And so, is there anything else you'd like to explore in this scene? Yeah. Um, we'll probably walk up and down the wharf for a bit and like mm -hmm. look at all the stuff in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can do that now if you like. Okay. You can, you're free to go and explore. And enjoy whatever it is that you feel drawn to. And just as you do that, just, just keep talking to me, telling me what, what you're doing. Well, first we go up to the tour guide and just say thank you. And we give him a tip. And then... Um, <laughs> then we're just walking around, looking at the boats. Mm -hmm. um, and there's lots of little stalls to look at. Um... So we don't get anything, we just look around. And then... Yeah, we're there for a while and then we go back to the cafe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, have a coffee and just talk about the tour and stuff. And we set up that. We sit at the table at the front by the window, mm -hmm. so we can people watch. Yeah. And then I, we have like a little, there is like some baked goods as well, so we got some little snack. And how was it? It was really good. Yeah. So how would you say your day's gone? Amazing. Amazing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there'd be nothing you do differently? Um, no, this was a really good day so far. Yeah. And it's still early. So we'll keep having fun in Boston. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then what, what else happens? Um, we're still at the cafe. I'm not really sure what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. well, you can do whatever you like. You're free to explore. It's true. I don't really know what to do in Boston. <laughs> I have to go back to the front desk, see if they have any suggestions mm -hmm. for that night. Okay, that's a good idea. You can do that now if you like. Just uh, see yourself go to the front desk and have a chat with the person there. What do they suggest? 
Um, they said there's like a like a theater nearby, so we could go see a show. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but that's not till later, so we're probably just gonna relax at the hotel for a bit. Okay. Very good. So is there anything else in this scene that you'd like to explore now? Well, no, I think that's good. So you've had a good day? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so now I'd like you to close that scene off. And I'd like you to move through time and space to the day or the moment where the root cause was created for the stuffiness in your nose. I'd like you to move through time and space to whatever's created the stuffiness in your nose. And as you come into the scene, I'd like you to tell me what's the first thing that you see happening? Um, the first thing I see is this factory that I worked at. Mm hmm Um, yeah, it was a wine, a wine box factory. A wine box factory, yeah. So I had to saw wood a lot. Huh. Um, yeah, I was just sawing wood all the time. What time? I was like sawing wood all sawing the time. Sawing wood? Yep. Sewing wood. Sawing it. Oh, sawing like putting wood. Putting it through a table saw. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's timber wine boxes. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, this is very dusty in there. Maybe mm -hmm. my head is full of sawdust still. Okay. So is this, is this in your present life? <laughs> this is real, yeah, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so let's let's see what's, what's happening there. What's going on? Um... Yeah, um, I worked there for two months, mm -hmm. and that was near the start when I moved to Australia again, when I came back mm -hmm. after Christmas, and that was the, the only job I could get, mm -hmm. was at this factory, Yeah, and it was very dusty mm -hmm. all the time. But yeah, my head is full of wood. Okay. All right, and so what what are you doing there? What do you see yourself doing at the moment? Um, I'm at saw number two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you just have like a stack of wood and then you put it through the saw to cut it smaller. Mm -hmm. and then you get rid of the little pieces. And then you carry the wood to a different saw. Yeah. It was a very exciting job. Very exciting. <laughs> it's very... Very fun. Well, that was Are terrible. you being sarcastic yes, or real? Yes, that was terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had masks to wear, mm -hmm. but you only needed to wear them on certain machines. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a very dusty job. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so what what's in particular is happening on this day that stands out? Um... What happens? Well, I didn't use that particular saw for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. At first, I was just branding things. So it wasn't very dusty, but it was really hot. It's really hot? Yeah. Yeah. Which was good because it was freezing in the mornings mm -hmm. in the factory. Um, yeah. Um, this day, one of the guys there was so sassy to me, <laughs> and it really annoyed me. I was really angry, because I was one of the only women that worked there, so I copped a lot of attitude. <laughs> from this guy? Well, from a lot of people, but yeah, he would always like roll his eyes at me, okay. even though I wasn't doing anything ridiculous. Anyway, <sighs> some people were really nice. He was just really awkward mm -hmm. and rude. Um, yeah, 
I did get moved to the other building for a while that didn't have any wood in it. That was like cardboard boxes mm -hmm. and stuff and like plastic coatings on the bottles. But yeah, I haven't been moved there yet, I don't think, at mm -hmm. this point. Okay. So let, let's just really tune in on, on this day and this moment and find out what what's created um, the issue with the, the stuffy nose. Let's see what happens. Tell me what's happening there. Um, this machine jammed the mouse to mm -hmm. the bottom. So you had to pour oil on it to get to like help the wood get through it to soft. Yeah. There would always be like lots of build ups with the dust. Mm hmm um and and then at the end of the day you had to clean up all the sawdust um and you'd have to get like a vacuum thing to get it all out from underneath of the machine because the bottom would get clogged sometimes um yeah i just see myself like using the saw and then Cleaning up around the area after. I don't think I don't know if any like one thing happened. Okay, so I how know. do you how do you feel about what's happened there on the day? Um well, I don't know. I was still like okay working there. Like I had it I was only there for a couple of weeks at that point. Mm hmm And it was really boring but it paid well. <laughs> um Yeah, it was just really boring <laughs> carrying wood like from point A to point B all day. Yeah. And I got really good biceps out of it. You got really good biceps? Yeah. Yeah, it was very heavy. Okay. So, so you see yourself working on the machine? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what else? What else do you do? Um... Like, I can see the factory very clearly. Everyone else is just working on their machines. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, not, uh, not too much to say. It's just the same thing over and over yeah. <laughs> for eight hours. Um, yeah, it's not jamming very much today. But I have the can of oil beside me just in case because mm -hmm. it will jam eventually. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens next? Um, yeah, the guy like made a comment and then he, because he was finished his job or something, so he had to help me for a little bit. And then he went back to his job. So I was just cutting wood and other people were moving it for me. Mm -hmm. um, so what did he say to you? Um, I don't remember. He just asked me a question and I did not like my answer. But and you what? He did not like my answer. Okay. Do you remember what, what you told him? He asked me like where to bring the wood and I said like bring half of it to one saw and half of it to the other saw and then he asked me which one and I said like to both of them like what do you mean yeah and then he was like you're supposed to like remember which one like do it in order I'm like well if you just do half and half then it, like just pick one and then go to the other one next mm -hmm. anyway and then he just like rolled his eyes at me and walked away I was like okay cool <laughs> don't want to talk to you either and so, how did you feel about that? I was really angry for some reason. Yeah. It was just such a stupid thing to be rude about. Yeah. And so, when you got angry, what, what did you do? Um, I don't think I did anything. Mm -hmm. Just complained about it later when I got home. Okay. <laughs> and then I'd like purposely avoided him after that. Okay. Because I just... 
It's just not worth it. Don't care. So do you feel like you still carried that anger with you? Apparently. Okay. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a while, though. Okay. But I do hold grudges a lot. Would you Would you like to release that anger now? <laughs> okay. I yeah. can help you release it. Would you like me to help you release it? Sure. Yeah, okay. Please. So I'm going to put my, my hand on your chest. And what I want you to do is I want you to get every ounce of that anger, whatever you felt towards that guy, and whatever hesitation or anger that you carry with you towards him after that day. I want you to draw it all together now and give it to me. So draw it all together and pull it all out of yourself. Give me all of that anger and all of any negative feelings that you felt on that day or anything that you feel might have been left unsaid and give it all to me because we're going to get rid of it now. Okay, and I want you to tell me once you've drawn every last ounce of it out and given it to me. Okay. You've got it all? Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to give that back to the universe. Right? We're sending that all away with love. You don't need to carry that with you anymore. Okay? So if there's any, any blockage or anything that was created from that day around that anger, you're releasing it now. Okay? And it's not going to affect you anymore. That's all gone. So we've given that to the universe. And now... What would you like to fill that space with? What would you like to replace it with now? Um, uh, maybe like ambition, like some more drive. Ambition? Yes. Yeah? Anything like some else? more focus. Yeah. More focus? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to fill that, that space inside of you now with ambition and with focus. Okay, feel that filling up inside of you. All that anger's gone and that space is filling with ambition and focus. Do you feel that coming into you now? Mm -hmm. Good. Is there anything else that you'd like to put in there? Um, I think that's, that's a good start. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so ambition and focus, that's what's filled that space up inside of you now and that's always in there. Ambition and focus. Ambition and focus. And you can draw on that at any time now because all of that anger has gone around that day. Okay, and I'm going to touch your forehead and we're going to seal that in there. Okay, it's always in there now. Alright, so is there anything else that, that happened on this day that you feel come to you or any thoughts that pop up around it? Um... Just at the end of the day, there was one person who I was kind of friends with. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just remember him like saying goodbye for the day. Okay. And that was always nice. That was nice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So is there anything else in this scene that you'd like to explore now? No, that is <laughs> all the time I'd like to spend in the factory. <laughs> okay. Very good. We start with the first one where she was in space. Why, why did you show that one to her? Because um, sometimes she just feels like she's floating through space. Okay. Um, yeah, just trying to make sense of things that don't make sense. Um, yeah, not really sure what the purpose is in this present life. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be... There must be a direct reason like okay you said she feels like she's floating through space in this life but how does how does that connect like what is the what is the direct connection what you know for why you're showing her that how's that going to help her right now um, it might help to figure out where she came from okay um, and then figure out why she's in the current space mm-hmm okay because she seemed to enjoy just just floating through space didn't she like well, you know, it was her thing, mm. just exploring and seeing what unfolded. Um, so does, does that happen a fair bit in this present life? Um, yes. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess then if, if she just feels like, well, I'm just floating through space, then perhaps, you know, that, that first life you've shown her is just a, 
well, this is what you've done before. Is that would, would you say that's fair? Like you know, this is what she's done before in another life. Is just yeah, that it's okay sometimes. It just okay, exist. Mhm. Okay. Good. So, is there any anything else that um, you'd like to comment on about that life? Anything else she can apply from it to this life? Um, I guess when you see that yellow monster dinosaur, mm-hmm. like it's okay to like go after it, like okay. to let the interest lead you. Mm-hmm. Like to keep, like don't just let it fly away. Okay, so if something pops up in her travels in this life that stands out, like mm-hmm. the orange dinosaur, to to go after it, mm-hmm. investigate, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are there opportunity, opportunities that she's missing that are happening at the moment in that regards? Um, just small ones, but mm-hmm. like they might get bigger, so just to keep an eye out. Okay, yeah. And then if she acts on them, what, what can she expect to happen? Uh, well, she'll get answers. She'll okay. find out what's the deal with yeah. the yellow dinosaur. Yeah, okay. So you're just saying explore her curiosity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What draws her, and then see what adve- what adventure unfolds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So, what about the um, the second scene where she was in Canada in the mountains on the trail? Why did you show that one? Um. <laughs> um. She hates winter, but it's not that bad. And to. <laughs> it's what? Um. <laughs> She does enjoy parts of it, mm-hmm. so she left Canada because um, there are a lot of things that she wasn't happy with, mm-hmm. but like at the right time, then she would enjoy, um, yeah, she would appreciate things more at okay. a different time. Yeah. Okay. So does she appreciate things enough in her present life, like, you know, right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she's still settling in, um, to this area, but, like, she could do a bit more, like, seizing the day kind of thing. Okay, so kind of like what you just mentioned with the, that first life, mm-hmm. it, pursuing the opportunities that, that draw her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Anything else? Any other reason why you showed her that scene? Um, no, just to yeah, just try and appreciate what's around you. Just what? Well, sorry. To like appreciate what's around her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, is so? Is there anything you know unhealthy in her life? Is there anything you know? It's fair to appreciate things, but is there anything that's not conducive for her to spend time on appreciating? You know what I mean? Like. Is she wasting her time in any areas of her life at the moment? Um, no, I think she's making progress. Like at work, there's some struggles, but mm-hmm. that's like on the way up. That's okay. going better. Yeah. Um, just to sort out the the living situation. Okay. And I think that will make a big difference as well. It will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have any advice for her about the the living situation? Um. Yeah, we'll have to look into um, renting this current place an extra month to make okay. things easier. But yeah, um, yeah to definitely um, start looking for just a one bedroom. Okay, yeah. Any particular area she um, should be looking? Yeah, to stay in West End. West End? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, so what about the, uh, the third scene where she was on the walking tour in Boston? Why did you show her that one? Yeah, that was weird. Um, <clears throat> um, to keep an open mind about, like, traveling. Like, she likes to pick everywhere that they want to go. Okay. Like, to talk yeah. to Mason more and to get more input. Oh, okay. So, it's a, there's a bit of an unbalanced input. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, she, she has to learn to compromise. Is that what you're saying? Well, he just doesn't. It's not all her fault, um, but yeah, to get Mason more active in the decision making. Okay, so how how might she best encourage him to do that? 
Um, I think they just need to have like a sit down, a talk. Mm -hmm. Um, just to explain. Um, and just to yeah, get everything out. Um, and see what exactly both of them want. Okay. Got a better balance. Okay, so the, this Boston, uh, the Boston scenes, is that in the future? Is that coming up or? Um. When yeah, it, yeah, it wouldn't be for a couple of years probably. Okay. I mean, we do have some time, like some empty time on our trip coming up. Yep. So we're still trying to pick where we're going to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to Boston. Okay. See if Mason wants to go there. Well, the, the, the little cafe bookshop sounded nice. It sounded really nice, yeah. yeah. So that, that you could say that that was the, the orange dinosaur, right? Maybe. You know, like one of those things. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> Okay. Um, were there any other uh, messages around that scene? Anything else you'd like to convey? Um, yeah, just to, well, like asking the front desk. Like, <laughs> Chelsea doesn't like asking for help. So to, like, get input from other people, like okay. to ask them for suggestions or ideas on kind of what to do. Okay. Um, so in terms of her traveling or just in general? Um, in general, but yeah, also traveling. Okay. So why, why doesn't she like asking for help in general? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. There must be a reason. Is there there's some sort of a, a block or some sort of something that happened that... Um... Maybe um, when she was younger, with the trouble with her mom, mm -hmm. she would always ask her dad to um, to step in, and he said there was no point, and it wouldn't do anything. So, yeah, maybe asking for help didn't get me very far okay. um, years ago. Yeah. So that, 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 that was just with two people, but... Mm -hmm. Does that mean it's going to happen with every person that she asks? You no, know what I mean? she's always very surprised when she has to ask for help and mm -hmm. people are very happy yeah. to do so. Okay. All right, so what what can she do to help progress or, you know, help encourage herself to ask more questions? What would help her do that? Um, if she maybe starts asking, like, smaller things mm -hmm. just to get more comfortable with it. Okay. Like maybe just asking for directions or something, like to random people. Okay, yep. Or if they know, a, like, I don't know, like a good place in the area to get coffee or something. Yep. Okay, very good. All right. Um, is, there was one thing that popped up uh, before we started the hypnosis session was she said that at work she felt like she was biting her tongue. Um, is that does is that the same sort of thing where she's she's struggling to ask for help or, or you know speak up or verbalize what's going on? Um, does that tie in together? Partially, I think she's just intimidated. Like she doesn't like authority. Okay. Okay. All right. So what what can she do about overcoming that that feeling of intimidation? Um, she gets along really well with her boss, so I'm not really sure. I think it just takes her a while to open up to people. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, she's moved around so much. Yeah. So she hasn't really had this much time with the same people for a while. Mm-hmm. So I think it will just, um, yeah, just to be more open-minded about it. Okay. And it'll come with time. All right. So if she, if she, you know, talks to her boss now, like, you know, says whatever she needs to say, mm -hmm. um, what what can help her, you know, what, what can help her encourage, encourage her more to do that, you know? Mm. Um, well, I think she's, like, opened the floodgates <laughs> by okay. sending that message and having the first initial talk. Yeah. So... For now, I think it's like a good spot, but yeah, she'll have to have a talk with them mm. soon about other issues. Yeah. 
So to just know that they like they want to know if there's a problem mm -hmm. and they are interested in her well-being. Okay, so they are interested and they do want to work with her. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so there's nothing really to fear then, is there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what, what would be the worst case scenario, you know, from her speaking up? Yeah, so she's had like a really terrible boss in the past, okay. which has kind of ruined, <laughs> which has affected her very right. negatively. Right. But, um, yeah, all of my, the bosses right now are really good and okay. they're all very approachable. Yeah. So just getting used to that now. Okay. And perhaps with the, the practice of ask, like just asking, you know, other people for help with small things, would that help her, you know, in opening up to her boss and, and to yeah. others in that way? Definitely. So it'd be good, would you say like a daily practice, you know? Or? <laughs> Maybe not daily, <laughs> but like weekly. Okay. A couple right. times a week. So something is part of her routine, like, you know, as if she was exercising to practice. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Um, and so in the, on the last scene, she went to the um, the factory uh, with the wine boxes and the sassy guy. Now, so that, that is the the day that has created her stuffy nose. Is that right? Yeah, possibly. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, it's been it's been shown for a reason. That was what we asked for, and mm -hmm. that was what came up. So obviously, you know, you've shown it to her in response to where we asked to go. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. So is that gone now? Has that been lifted? Will that her stuffiness clear? Um, it's definitely going to help. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a hundred percent of the problem. Okay. But it, yeah, it was a part of. Mhm. Mm Okay, so if it's not 100% of the problem, is there something else that we need to look at? Um, well, she saw her doctor recently, mm -hmm. so they're going to do some tests, okay. which will hopefully um, illuminate <laughs> the rest of it. Okay, so w would it be fair to say that there's a few angles to this particular case? Yeah, definitely. Okay, all right. Okay, um, so we've, would you say that we've done all we can with regards to that at the moment? Yes. Okay, all right. Is there any extra assistance that you can give her to help clear that up? Um, no, she's doing, she's doing a lot better than the first time mm -hmm. that she came here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just to keep um, those positive changes going mm -hmm. in her life and... Yeah, I think they're already getting better, so okay, just good. to keep, just to see how far she's come and just to keep pushing. Mm. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, do, she wants to know, what, what should she be focusing on now? Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. What's that? I'm going to sneeze. Mm hmm Um, I think she should keep focusing on on her physical activity. Okay. Like she's um, yeah, she's made really big um, improvements already. Yeah, that's good. Just to keep going with that. Um. Yeah, and just start um going to more events and. And meeting more people as well. Okay. Because it sounds like she's, she has been doing well with that, you know, with the conversations we've had over the last few months. She's mm -hmm. been getting out there and and going to events and things like that. Yeah. Isn't she? So she, would you say that she's making good effort there, good progress? Yeah. It's a good start for sure. Yep. Just to keep okay. going with that. Cool. So just keep keep at it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, anything else she should focus on? Um, yeah, just start focusing on herself more, I think. On the what? She's, on herself more. She's been getting, um, like, worked up about the world lately. Okay. A lot. Um, what what yeah. kind of things set her off? Um, <laughs> just life in general. Okay. It's just silly sometimes. Yeah. So to focus more on herself um, and self-care and just, yeah, just okay. focus on herself sometimes. So when when you say focus on herself specifically, what do you mean by that? Um, she just needs to, yeah, just stop thinking about 
like all the problems in the world and to just focus more like locally. Okay. Yeah, so like if she gets involved with the groups that are just in Brisbane here, like even that's a good um a good start. Okay. Yep, so she doesn't need to fix all the world all at once. She just needs to focus, you know, just on her local space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On the local groups and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Um, have you got any um, advice for her around her finances? You know, how can she generate more abundance or more, you know, mm-hmm. more money, um, that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not sure about that right now. Okay. So there's not really anything you can say or, or any any guidance? Yeah, just to get yeah, like you're in a stable place right now. So okay. just keep looking also for the new apartment, like to make sure that it is a reasonable amount and the bills aren't intense like they are here. Yep. Like that will make a big difference if they find like a clear, well-priced place to live. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so in terms of her job though, like, so what you're saying is that she shouldn't really be looking for a new job or? Um, no, not right now. Okay. She's getting more, like the better shifts now in the morning time. Okay. So see if that makes a difference. Yep. I think that will, um, help a lot of other parts of her life too. Okay, cool. So did you see how it goes for now? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so do you have any, any other messages for her today? Um, no, just to keep, yeah, just keep on making the small changes and they're making a big difference overall.